a lot of people call and they're like, well, well are you guys in Illinois or are you guys in Indiana? And we're like, no, it's Kentucky. Well, Lincoln was born in Kentucky and they're like, oh, oh okay, I didn't know that. Well, here at the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Historical Park, we talk about a part of Abraham Lincoln's life that not everybody thinks of. Uh, we talk about the first seven years of his life, which Lincoln was born here in Hodgeville in 1809, and he had a lot of really cool, formative experiences here um, that not many people know about. Um, Lincoln got his only formal year of education in a schoolroom. His family attended an anti-slavery Baptist church when they lived at Knob Creek. So again, a very formative piece of the man we would know later to become the great emancipator. Those seeds were sown here in Kentucky. When I cross over from Ashland, Kentucky into West Virginia and I see the sign and it says, wild and wonderful, I always get so excited. I'm like, oh, I'm home, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I always wear my class ring of WVU and I've had more than one person say, oh, you're, you're a Mountaineer, you went to WVU? And I said, absolutely, I went to WVU and I'm very proud to be a Mountaineer. So it, it's a, a piece that I try to carry with me and um, you know, not only represent the National Park Service, but try to represent you know, West Virginia and also being a Mountaineer here on a daily basis. My name is Stacy Humphreys. I'm the Chief of Interpretation and Resource Management here at the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace in Hodgeville, Kentucky. If you talk to a lot of park rangers, you're gonna get a similar answer, I think, that, I, I mean, I, I feel like this is my life's calling. I feel like this is what God put me on this earth to do. Um, so it's a blessing to come to work every day and do something I love.